Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53. First round match of 64, the last round of 64 uh, Cup. Well, Cup of 64 competitors in. We've got Engelbert Hex with Dwarves getting the dream draw of the Cats BBC. Don't think too much about the name of this team or any of the players. Um, Amazons, they've got a wizard and an extra apothecary. And uh, yeah, I mean, the versus, they've got an 11 woman Amazon team versus dwarves. So, you know, you do the math if you're American, the maths if you're English. Um, it doesn't take much more than a normal working brain to work out how bad this is for the Zons. But you know, they might get lucky, right? They might get lucky. But they've got two guard and a pawn. Versus eight guard. Four mighty blow and a pawn. And the pawn is tackle. And there's you know, loads of tackle, so yeah. This is pretty horrendous. You can instantly tackle Pom the tackle Pommer. Terrible play to put it on the OS like that, because you can't protect it. You need to protect both your guards. I mean you could could just take out the guard, right? You need you, if you take out the guards they've got nothing, and if you take out the Pom they can't hurt anyone. So you want to kind of take out both of these, so blitzing either of these is totally fine. Does go for the pump. Okay, it's, it's interesting, right? Because going for the pummer removes their high roll to beat you. I didn't remove it, but severely limits their high roll to beat you. But like taking out one of the guards eliminates like about half of the way they can try and win normally. Probably should just blitz, right? This blitzer here should probably just blitz. Will the two die there? Get through and potato. Like literally this is how bad I think this is for the uh, for the zones. But I think blitzing up and potatoing essentially is a pretty good idea. Looks like they're taking your advice. Yeah, yeah, look at that. They've, they, they've also agreed. Hello, Squire L dude. Hello. You might want to share the stream on Discord. But... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I shut it off because the the sound background is messed up. It is back on. Thank you. Yeah, quite like Fresh. this. I qu actually quite like this move from the zones. Fresh from Jim Con. Jim starts his day out with elves and Amazons. A very sorry dwarves and Amazons. I got confused because of PC. I blame him for that. <laughs> That's fair enough. I mean, I, this isn't the first game. The first game was uh, that's cool. The first game was uh, something else. <laughs> I, I couldn't remember it either. <laughs> Orcs and Kemri. I forget that game too. Hmm. Yeah. Instantly forgotten. I feel like the dwarves could have put on more. Pressure, or this feels kind of unsatisfactory because the Amazons are just going to run away now. Yeah. I do like those. Yeah, you have to do those GFIs. I like the GFIs at least. But... Yeah, and another GFI in here. Get the Deviant. Mm. Get the Deviant Tackle. Yeah, that's a good idea. Probably worth the GFI, yeah. I mean, you can just push it, but it's not easy to push yeah. it. Yeah. The problem is now, it is a blodger, so. But it does, um. Because otherwise, if it wasn't a blodger, it's, it's probably actually a weak position to be facing the carry with like that. Just open the foot off, away from the stand firm. Yeah. But still, how do you, mm -hmm. how do, you do it? Well, you probably like just put the on the blitzer and then like the like wrestler. Like this, no. <laughs> I think, mm, yeah. Oh, so he's not blitzing the ball. Which means it's a one in nine, like it's a one in nine, yeah. So this is this is 
me. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Because if you go to the ball, that's yeah, the same. Basically, you need one more player to cover. I guess the the loner dodges out. Yeah. The loner rolls a one. Gotta re-roll it. Need the wee wall. Gets the wee wall. Gets a bit of cover. Tackle is overpowered against Amazon's example. 10 million. And or the tackle and dodge interaction is kind of bad. And maybe some new rules edition should try and make it less bad. No, no. The new rules edition should definitely heavily nerf passing. You mean improve passing. Focus on passing. Make passing good. You know, I don't think anyone's ever defined it make passing good actually means <laughs> well well they made it terrible in their attempt to make it good so you know there is that <laughs> absolutely idiotic the first thing to making passing good is make it so that the, the players who are slightly better at it are the only players that are competent at it that will make mm. passing better we're all drop back tom brady's out there yeah, it's funny, isn't it? And they, they could easily do it, right? They could just say, uh, like, they could have it. I think the way to do it would be a chart, right? You know, like a 2d6 roll with modifiers. And, uh, like, you know, a 2 6 on a table with modifiers. I think that would be the way, because then then you can make it, like, very unlikely to fumble, right? Which is. Or, or yeah. going accurate or whatever, which is the, what makes it shit. He's just totally fucking you. He's totally fucking you, basically. <laughs> Yeah, and it also means that your modifiers, if you're starting at, say, a 7, a modifier plus 1 or minus 1 is pretty meaningful. I think the player is actually pretty straightforward. Again, it's a 1 dice on the uh, on the diving tackle and then a 3 plus dodge to score. There's just no tackle up there on the barrier. I don't... Okay, I don't, I don't understand this blitz in my life. I don't... You, they know they only get one blitz a turn, right? <laughs> you can't... you can't blitz again. Yeah, no, I don't know what the uh, thinking was here. Uh, I'm extremely confused. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. Maybe they're just trying to ignore and get in a zen-like state where they can state that diving tackle doesn't exist. And because of that, they'll just make the dodge anyway. Yeah. Correct. It, it, it didn't work. Correct. It turns out a 5 plus is hard. Well, if you forget about diving tackle, you deserve to lose. <laughs> it's amazing that it happened once, I guess. Because normally people forget about it all the time and it never matters. <laughs> tackle for me, he's not making much damage, is he? Two kills. It's funny because, like, you know, Dwarves versus Zons isn't that bad for the Zons at, like, you know, around a thousand TV. It's when the Dwarves get the guard yeah, and the mighty yeah. bow, particularly, where yeah. it's like, you know, then you just can't do anything. You can't do anything against all of the guard, and then the mighty bow just absolutely annihilates them. It's, um, it's kind of akin to Goblins, which is a funny thing to say about Amazons, but it's, um, akin to how Goblins people think. The dwarves are the worst thing in the world. It's like, actually, at low team value, Amazons are complete misery, and and chorps are even worse. Because Amazons, they literally can't do anything to them, and because it's like st another Sunty team, but they're also strength three. Yes. And then chorps, it's like, all oh, right, we can potato, and then the Brawl Centaur comes with. It's like, well, that was a nice plan for two seconds. It doesn't work at all. Yeah. Cool. Doing the one these now that don't do anything. Yeah. This was a very... This was a scuff drill. You had the potato, you had a 3 plus 3 plus to school, you get out of the drive, and then it's just turned into... Somehow, basically playing at the LOS again with all these, like, random blocks. Yeah, it's really weird. Pretty weird. Now, looks like the dwarves are going to get it. I mean, it looked like they were going to get it last turn, but the one in nine. The dwarves have enough time they could consider going for a counter score. Yeah, I would definitely be thinking counter score now. Yeah, that removal? Yeah. 
I don't like taking the block. The yeah, I would not have made that block. I would not have made that block. Because, yeah, a push, and now you have another thing on the ball. And, you know, yeah. Make the block after you've done the pickup, sure, but you, you've got yeah. to make the pickup first. It's a thing I do, though, to be fair with them. They have stand for them, and they're like, alright, so they're not going to move, and you block, like, wait a minute. No, they might move. <laughs> You probably move most first. I guess they don't need to move most first than that. That's like the exact amount they need to be. Six, six, six. Yeah. Could have gone three, two, two to one D the ball, but doesn't. Not that that's At wrong. This point, I guess we're... Yeah. Probably correct to actually just get in the way. The, the dwarves don't really have a lot of cover, so if they were going to try and support them, it would be a big yeah, it's like next turn, right? That's the thing. Mm -hmm. This turn, things yeah. can happen, and it, but he can only get to here. Well, the next turn, when he gets to there, that he's definitely not going to have shit in front of him. Yeah. And that's the wrong square to assist from. If you're going to do that block, I think you want to be a square. It doesn't matter. I think you want to be somebody like get to the square to where you push that long beard so that the loner is facing the guard to work next turn too. Mm, but then what if it's a push? That's the thing, and if it's a push, you could just push him away. But yeah, it probably is worth it. Yeah, it probably, it probably is. is worth getting like, on the push too. You've only got eleven like, men though, so maybe it isn't. Because how relevant is it? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, maybe it's just pushing him face fine. It's probably you could probably take that one either way. Yeah. Personal preference. I also understand the nature of like you um, when you're making that dodge. Initially, no matter what, you want to dodge into the middle of the field because you're thinking that's what the player wants to do regardless mm. so it's kind of hard to spot the i want to run this player around opposite of where i want him to go if it's this on the other side mm. here's jim asked for damage what's the damage mm? you, you were saying they hadn't gotten a lot of damage on the amazon yet and suddenly yeah suddenly a lot better suddenly there's four kills and He didn't get very far forward last turn, did he? No, in fact, this, this, yeah, he I think that definitely was didn't mistake. get far enough. Like there could have been yeah. two GFIs. Now it's just guess, not in range, right? Uh, I don't think so. I think he needed to be at least one square further forward. Yeah, at least one further. Yeah, it's literally not so in could, range. Yeah, I don't. No. Yeah, he needed because it's thirteen. So yeah. You need to be one square further forward to be able to score on 14. Yeah. Unless he's a secret move up or something. No. Oh, he's moved busted. Okay, I guess he couldn't have scored in the first place. No. Not really. No. I guess this is the downside of having your backup runner. and Or I guess he needs to look to try and score with uh, one of his long beards, but I mean, just, yeah, it looks like he's just giving up on the counter score, he's just gonna give up some hits. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, didn't see the move five, with move five, he, he can't even try to counter score, can he? <laughs> so yeah, I, this was the correct so the, I'm actually not sure it was the correct play, he is, mm, well, next turn I think he needs to go for the gang foul on the guard, stand for blitzer, blitzer with that runner, because it's smooth busted and it's fair. Yeah. I think you should go for the dirty player game foul on one of those better players. Yeah, you should definitely foul. Well, it depends if you're going to foul in the second half, right? But I mean, I would foul, yeah. It's, it's like an automatic armor break, right? So it's basically just a money blow roll on the injury. That seems pretty worthwhile. Yeah, I would foul because you're not going to need this stuff anyway. Probably going to win 1 0, so. I, I don't like the foul and wouldn't do it if I couldn't afford to lose the player because, like, you know, it's so likely you just KO yeah. them and they come mm -hmm. back and you're not doing anything. There's no drive value at all, right? That's the thing. There's no there's no drive equity yeah. in this foul. It's all game. It's all game. It's all. That's a very good player. This is a spare player that I have. I can afford to lose. Yeah. yeah. And the chance for removal is extremely high. Yeah, that's so. that's the thing with like surfs, right? Like, if you can surf somebody on turn one of a drive, it's amazing because you've got a guaranteed removal. Drive. If, if you're surfing them on like turn eight of a half, it's really not that good. Like, okay, there's an automatic, you know, an automatic roll, but 
not removing them from the drive anymore, are you? You're just you're just having a roller trying to hurt something. Having a roller trying to hurt something is nowhere near as powerful as just guaranteed removing them. Yes. Your maximum, especially for the offense, right? Because they're like, all right, if I get a KO, half the time, absolutely nothing happens, and three quarters of the time, basically nothing happens. Yeah. So your chance, it's like one turn, maybe. Yeah. you get it with a surf on offense. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of that to consider, I think. It is still good, and it is still a thing that new players should look for, but yeah. Surfing and um, turn 8 fouling can be very, very not good. Yeah. Or not really that rewarding. Turn 8 fouling in particular is... The thing I've always said is that just don't, you probably shouldn't do it, with, especially on fixed goal players. It's just very rarely going to work out for you. Oh wow, a, bl a blitz for the Zons. And that's a great kick for them. They're going to get on that ball. Mm. Now, the downside is there's a whole lot of dwarves around that ball. <laughs> so, uh, might not work out. And I. Downside is they're still Amazons. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's put them in in the right squares ish. It's just is it gonna matter? This, this guard in here is brutal. Yeah. Diving Tackle can get himself on the ball too. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna blitz with them on the... Oh, I thought we were going for the Palmer, but I guess I think the Diving Tackle side set makes sense. Mm. Power up or? Glad you name. Glad you yes, has two of them. So, uh. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the only way the, the only way the Zons win this is by stopping the score, turning them over, and winning. So, you know, you've yeah. got a wizard, you power up all the KO, and, uh. And another KO, so both, both apples gone on power apples. As I say, I don't know if I love that uh, pile on for what it was over, but I think I would have liked to have that dwarf standing up this next turn. I also don't. I let me rephrase. I hate not just picking up the ball there. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Ah, but it was to it was so they could chain that and chain the size step away and then pick up on this one. Yeah, okay. Pick it up on the ball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Pretty good, actually. <laughs> I, uh, well, it helps like if you can see the whole pitch. Yeah. But yeah, if if you didn't have this one, it would have been awful. Sure was a turn where the Amazons pushed themselves next to all the dwarves. Yeah, that that was the problem. Wasn't it? You know, they tried, they tried, they got in the way. They failed. And now it's just the defensive drive where you can watch the Amazons all over the place. Hmm. They do have the wizard though, so something could happen. <laughs> Don't say it's over. I. Amazons do, I suppose, can do better with a wizard than a, uh, than a dwarf team, but. Wizards just for a reason do not feel great against dwarves. My, or lizards or the other team. It's like, great, I knocked the skank over, now the other skank picks it up and this drive hasn't really changed that much. And for dwarves, like, they're already kind of, they're always kind of clustered together. You know, so low, it's hard to get them to space out. Like, it impacts them a little bit, but, I don't know, it doesn't... Also, there's so much tackle that you can't really use your mobility after the wizard quite as well. Yeah, that's the big thing with the dwarves, like... Having all of that mass tackle means that a lot of the waves in and out are going to have tackle on them and then 
which is less likely to take advantage. But I mean, can still be pretty crippling, right? Because they're so slow. Yeah. So. It would definitely be better if the Amazons were up one zero right now yes. and they have the wizard. Yeah, yeah, because overtime isn't really an option for them. Like you know. It, no. Then defending this half is not a win. <laughs> as much as you know, it kind of is in terms of you expect the offense to score on turn eight, if you like. So and the apothecary use showed an understanding of that, right? Like, no, no, I can't just go for badly hurts. I can't go for value. I need to play for this half and hope the dwarves uh, move their ball carrier away from the rest of their team. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And give me an open cage. And take blocks that aren't yeah. relevant to securing ball first action. Yeah, quad skulls there would have been uh, a very strong play for the Amazons. Would have literally let them, I think, walk score the uh, next turn yeah. with a pickup and a pass. Yeah. Mm. Now, now makes the more important block <laughs> and gets them to safe. Yeah. It's a bit careless, right? Like, it's probably not going to matter. You, it's only 1 in 36 to fail, and you've got a team here. So, you know, people just play like as if, you know, you don't all quad scores a lot of the time. It's understandable, but yeah, a lot of the time, you know, and a lot of the time, you, you are gaining stuff by not planning for 1 in 12, 9, 6, but there. Purple is uh, one of the very few games where we were like, what are the odds? 99.9. .9. I don't know, man. Maybe you should plan for that thing that's less than 0.1% like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> and yeah, the ball easily recoverable with a, and it's going to require some threes. Uh, what I quite like is um... yeah, it's hard though. Yeah, the, the lack of guard is. Painful. If this guy wasn't here, then I would have liked blitzing him and then dodging this one. I mean, because you can just dodge, you can just dodge through with dodge, right? So you can just go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. To here or something. Maybe he's another couple of geographically away from this. Well, maybe he's, maybe he's go this way then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, like over here, right? Maybe he's double geify down to there with that, with that guy. And then the other one dodges out and sort of mobs it to him. But, um, yeah, it was pretty. It wasn't a great chance. I think it was probably the right decision to try for it. Just... Yeah. The dwarves. Maybe that was bait. Like, here's the best opportunity you're going to get. But also, like, it was a really. I mean, not a good opportunity, but I mean, you're not going to get much better of them as your entire team gets stunned for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's the thing. They're on a clock. And they're just out like all their guard, their guards locked up on the right side of the field. They don't have any left. They just can't get two guys blocks anymore. <laughs> yeah. They can't dodge. It's just kinda over for their their like play normal blood bowl. Yeah, it's pretty but they were absolutely rock hard today. And so was my cock. <laughs> what a great sound effect that is. Oh wow, uphills already. Yeah. Yeah, so already they've just got like four players standing at the start of the turn, so yeah. Oh, damn it, Okay, well. Tackle and tackle and, yeah. Yeah, tackle, diving tackle. I like how there's a tackler, there's a diving tackler, and the animation shows the bloody runner. Yes. I hate that, personally. Well, you know, it's a step up from Blood Bowl 1, where everyone tried to tackle them, and <laughs> Blood Bowl 3, where it took them two years to have anyone try. <laughs> I think Blood Bowl one that everyone trying is 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 all right, isn't it? Because at least the right one tries. <laughs> you know, eventually. <laughs> Whereas this, it's it's hideous that you just have one guy. Yeah, yes, I know. I will say that one of the primary points of confusion I've had when teaching players, teaching other people how to play Blood Bowl, when I've tried um, a while ago, is that 
the tackle zone, the penalty for dodging is not how many players you're dodging away from, but how many tackle zones you're dodging into, which mm. I think is reasonably kind of counterintuitive. So yeah. having everyone go for it can be a bit misleading, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so. I do like it on fouls, though, I think, for more than one. Oh, yeah, seeing everyone stomp is great. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's the fail, and that is probably that. The dwarves can select somebody to score, maybe. Um, no, it's only three turns. No, they just going to score. Probably a bad result overall for Engelbert Hex. I mean, okay, he's definitely won. But it was versus pretty terrible. I guess he didn't make any cards. It was versus a pretty terrible Zon team, right? I would have really liked to have got. SPP I think on, he on the next round. Beard. It looks like he hasn't really gotten any. Yeah, he hasn't got any SPP on like key players. He's gotten just a bunch of KOs, but it is so far looks like he's gotten a very comfortable game, more or less, into the next round. Of yeah. Injuries, so yeah, maybe, maybe this really long beard. Right? Yeah. This long beard would have been the best one to score on, but yeah, you can't criticize him for that. Really, at the end, it didn't get a bunch of cars. You get a bunch of cars, then. You have to Really squeeze the life out of him, but yeah, it's pretty. It's actually pretty good for just just me. I mean, okay, mid loads. Of, to be to be fair, he made loads of stuns, but still only stuns. Yep. Yeah. I mean, no reason not to. Yeah. I guess the only reason not to is that you could be basing that player with that Warhol's player instead, and maybe that's just as preventative. And you, like, I don't know. Like, fouling is probably fine. It's over, and it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Say it's over. I guess the only the only way you lose from this point is your opponent gets a riot. And then they two turn, <laughs> and then they win the toss in overtime. So at that point, trying to remove somebody. I, I guess as the dwarf coach, you could have a stroke and die. You can <laughs> yeah. the game that way. But that's yeah. pretty much it. Internet connection well, is a yeah. Is a you more have lightning <laughs> struck by lightning. Yeah. Yeah. Got a strong feeling that Pl Plagiatus is going to skip their turn on the last turn 16 here after skipping twice in a row. Full, got a full team, might as well give the one turn a shot against three stand firm. <laughs> for practice, I guess. So there are only two, I mean, they want to shift around it. So there's only two stand firm, you know. Yeah. You could go at it for practice movement six. Well, he's moving 70 here. So, I can't do it. I've never tried, but maybe he could. I mean, KFOG could, but not many other people in the world could. Versus two stand firm and dwarves and... Yeah. There's not Definitely one of the uh, favorite things happen there is as a coach when you have players who are KO'd for uh, 12 turns, and they all show up at the end. So, great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, game. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. That's mad after skipping turns for two turns to then just set up like properly with only one turn left and to set up for a riot. I guess yeah it's one yeah, it's okay, so it's one nil down, so Yeah. They just set up for the riot, but um yeah, and I guess they're only one nil down, but it just seems funny after like just skipping the last two turns, right? Mm -hmm. If you were gonna try for this, you would think you would have, you know, tried to get a mighty blow hit or just even a normal hit on a on a guy. But then I guess then they knock you down and they foul you again, don't they? So. I guess they also saw like the defensive setup was set up for the one turn, so you just can't do it. So you just go for the the right on the left side and try and run up past them with a the kick or something. So, mm. and you do prioritize. Unlike the offensive drive, you prioritize scoring with the ball and not a money for it. Which, man, that turn, that that blitz, 
on like turn three or four or whatever is still the strangest decision of the game. <laughs> He drawn L as an insult. Maybe, yeah. <gasps> yeah, maybe he did. He drew an L, didn't he? <laughs> Calcium would be proud. Yeah. Calcium loved that one. Um, so there you go. Congratulations to. I've literally already forgotten the coach. Engelbert X, was it? Yeah, I think coach Engel of Behemoth and Jubilation. I will fucking drop yeah. kick Jesus. I think Engelbert X was the coach, and I think Plaggy Arbus was the. Yes. As the zone coach. So there you go. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to them. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude. Being glorious having in the booth. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.